All right, I've hit record, and hopefully nothing breaks this time. Nine. What is the slapping noise? When you hear the, the gun shoot, that's the start. Okay. And welcome back to the nub. Uh, I'm the Merce. <laughs> that's me, Felton. And the bald bearded bard. And uh, I guess now we're going to use like uh, prop guns and stuff as our uh, way to know when it's time to start talking, which is kind of scary, kind of frightening. Yeah, it's a starter pistol, just like a race. <laughs> so this is one of our um, Hanging with Web Shows exclusives. Uh, we're just giving you guys a quick little intro to the uh, Into the Nerd um, uh, interview that we will be having following this. Uh, but we just wanted to say, hey, uh, see how everybody's doing in this uh, in this time of Corona. So. How are you holding up there, Felton? Um, well, I, uh, I don't think I've showered in uh, uh, three weeks, is what I wish I could say. Uh, but unfortunately, I am an essential employee, so I have to drag my uh, happy ass to work in our emergency shift rotation for the foreseeable future. So that means uh, no drinking, I'm on call, no, you know, barely days off, and uh, I'm, yeah, yeah. And the and, and best, yeah. best part is we've got to mitigate overtime, so I'm not even really getting anything out of it. Oh, yeah, that's kind of the same situation I'm in. Uh, what about you, uh, Infinity B? How are you holding up? Uh, I'm not essential, so uh, I haven't bathed or showered in three weeks. Uh, I go to bed at 4 a.m., I wake up at noon, and I'm not even wearing clothes. Oh, my God, Ooh. so you're living your best life right now, basically. My best life, that's right. You know, the, the, the sad part about it is if uh, Andrew Yang had gotten elected, we could have had universal basic income, and that could have been everyone's life, and I'm I'm really sad about that. Yeah, well, you know, life goes on, right? <laughs> um, Don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say oh, no, no, something no. controversial. We, we do have some time. Go ahead, get started. <laughs> I mean, Bernie just dropped out, so... Uh, we're left with Biden as our option. That, and, that's. Uh, ugh. I do I have, have to I have, say. Okay, okay, okay. I could. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say. I do have to say that this is going to be probably one of the very few elections where the candidate uh, wins just based on nobody going out to vote. Like, if nobody really goes <laughs> out to vote, you know, we just keep our president that we have now, right? Like, there's no. <laughs> <laughs> so I could joke about Biden, but like the last few interviews and stuff that he's done, I'm like legitimately, legitimately worried about his mental state. He's all over the place and forgetting stuff and blinking out, and uh, like I'm honestly worried that he's having some sort of mental issue. Well, well he, my, I'm... Only, my only concern really is um, if they if there happens to be a lot of female, um, let's say heads of state or. Uh, you know, people that run the countries, right? I'm just worried about them, them getting their hair caressed and smelled uh, on a regular basis to be the future president. Yeah, that's, we're that's leave, really my only leave their wives at home and shit. Yeah, and and like and and with that, could this cause like a national issue for us? Like, you know, we go to war with uh, North Korea because you know Biden was maybe caressing you know Kim's hair or something. You know, like, that's that's only my real concern. Like, other than that, I think he's, he seems like a chill guy. He's like that. That crazy, weird uncle that your family doesn't really want you to be left alone with? You know I've said that about him this entire time. He's he's everybody's favorite drunk uncle, and that's his best role. He was he was Obama's sidekick, and he was great at it. Nobody wants him as a leader. So I don't know about nobody, but... I'm sure like the five people that like him want him as a leader. And I mean to to and and I don't know. I don't, I don't really like him. That but just to play the devil's advocate, I feel like maybe there there are aspects of what's going on with him and maybe the gaffes that he's making. Maybe it's just the the stress getting to him like, you know, maybe he's not going crazy or senile. Maybe he's never been in the driver's seat before on this. He was the That's true. running mate, you know? He might not, I mean, people deal with stress vastly differently. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna crap on the guy, you know, he is quote unquote served his country in, in public service. So I'm not gonna totally take a dump on him because I don't agree with his views on guns. I mean, his comment about double blast barrel shotgun through the door is like, that was the most absurd thing I'd ever heard in my life, but it made a good, uh, it made a good sound bite that people remixed into music, so you know that was worth it. But sure. I don't, the, the debate would be hilarious. Oh, I, I can't wait. Them, yeah, 
trying to. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, they've they've already threatened each other about wanting to, to box each other or whatever, <laughs> and they get on stage. It's going to be hilarious, right? I mean, for the rest of the world, the rest of us are going to be like, oh my god. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just I feel like this election is a lot like last election. I feel like we're stuck between a rock and a hard place, you know. Yep. Uh, although honestly, I would take anything over Mister over Mister Cheeto, but um. Yeah, I don't know, man. But I think uh, the universal takeaway that we can, that all nerds can appreciate, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on, this is going to be an amazing, amazing meme war. It, it's going to be incredible. Oh, yes. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, enough of the political stuff, because this is not the uh, it's not the political podcast. This is the nub, Nerd United Brevard. So uh, let's talk about something nerdy. So uh, I guess, uh, Felton, you've jumped back on City of Heroes now? Uh, yeah, so they went public, I guess, with a basically version of the game that was acquired somehow through some means. I'm I'm going to make a guess that some devs as uh, NCSoft was getting bought out probably just kind of let somebody download it, just, you know, let it get out the door. That way it wouldn't totally die. But anyway, they've been updating it and, you know, basically bringing the game back to life slowly but surely adding in content. So I was playing with my uh, niece and nephew the other day. That was a nice little bit of nostalgia. So that was pretty fun. Nice, yeah. I'm, if I didn't have so much crap to get done, I would honestly jump on there myself, but I just don't have the time for it right now. Mm. Um, yeah. I found... I'm sorry, good. I was... Um, what was I doing? I was sitting here... I was playing Warcraft or I was coloring or something and my phone started going off saying that I had notifications from the nub discord we used to record and it was people joining the discord and I was like, what the crap is going on? Nobody said anything to me. Yeah. And so I, I, I opened it up and I started watching it and somebody else joins it and then a third person joins and I'm like, oh, did they replace me? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, since, since you brought it up, I wanted to wait till uh, we did all of our recordings for this week. But, um, I mean, since you went ahead and brought it up, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, voted off the island. Be, yeah, we're, we're letting you go, man. We're, I'm sorry. You know, I know you tried to make a... Uh, <laughs> You've know, been replaced by children. To, I know you tried to make a pack with Felton and, uh, and try to get me voted off, but, uh, you know... Classic survivor move. Uh, I swept. I swept in underneath, and uh, yeah, you're getting booted out. Man, sorry. That's 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 fair. I mean, trading me out for three kids. Are you gonna put them on the same trench coat and just like pass them off as an adult? Yeah, exactly. We're it's we're using right. straight muppet. We're using straight muppet logic. So that's that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And what we're gonna call them is uh, we're gonna call them uh, Infinity Squared. So. <laughs> But we get a great severance package, though. Uh, you're going to get a nice handshake, you know, after the coronavirus, of course, has uh, passed. Um, and a uh, and a box of uh, every flavor of beans. That's every amazing. Jelly beans, though. That's yeah. better than I got from the last place, I know. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my goodness. Well, we just want to do a little chatting um, and, you know, let you guys know kind of like how we're surviving this whole fun existence that we're living in now. Um Please enjoy the the Into the Nerd interview that's following this. Uh, I don't know who it's going to be because it will be uh, Felton's choice. <laughs> Woo! Kind, of Sophie, kind of a Sophie's choice, but whoever it is, it's probably going to be interesting. So please listen and uh, you know, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye. And welcome back to the Nub. We've got another uh, interview here. Uh, Mr. Dylan, I cannot pronounce your last name properly. Uh, Guarusco. Thank you very much. Now, uh, you are a cosplayer, sir, and you have your own cosplaying page. What's the name of this page? Uh, it is Dylan Guarusco, uh, actor, cosplayer, and voice performer. Mm -hmm. uh, I've kind of expanded throughout the cosplay community so much that uh, I decided to uh, go into voice acting and acting in general. Um, some of my latest uh Films that I've been part of was uh, Full Metal Alchemist Abridged on YouTube and Bocas. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on other future projects as well, including an indie game, which I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to talk about. Well, don't get yourself in trouble here on the podcast. Yeah. We don't want to cause a problem for you. Yeah, no, but it is an indie game and it's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's coming out either later this year or next year. And I can't wait for it to come out and you guys to check it out. 
Yeah, I've seen a lot of your videos on on YouTube. A lot of them are really funny. Uh, I think I think you guys you because you pretty much have a, a whole troop now that works with you, right? Not exactly. No? We kind of disbanded a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of more me now, but like I do tend to get uh, some of my friends and other cosplayers involved mm -hmm. on my YouTube page. Uh, it was originally called Comer Things, and you can see that in the title in most of my videos. Mm -hmm. And Comer Things were basically because my middle name is Comar uh, from my family side, from my family on my mother's side, mm -hmm. um, was named Comar, so I took the name Comar. And the thing is, because I did things on the channel originally, just did random things, mm -hmm. and eventually I did uh, just cosplay things after that, and uh, kind of went off from there. One of our popular videos is Undertale, mm -hmm. which, if you don't know, is an indie game uh, created back in 2015 about a little girl who uh, falls into the underground and she gets greeted by monsters and skeletons that um, kind of help her either guide her out of the underground to get back to the surface, or if you decide to go genocide in the game, then they try to kill you and you must fight to the death. Oh, wow. It's a really fun game, and we were really popular when we started that channel, when we did the Undertale films, because nobody else was really doing it at the time, mm -hmm. especially in our community. So um, we really got a, a really boost in the community, thanks to a lot of comic shops like Famous Faces and Funnies and, uh, and other shops out there. Yeah, we've got, a, we've got a very strong nerd community here in Brevard, which is fantastic. Everybody kind of helps support each other and lift each other up and everything like that. Um, I remember you came out to our um, our one and only so far uh, nerd meetup, um, Nerd United and Brevard meetup at Famous Face and Funnies, and you actually made like a couple of little videos and, and everything before that. And they were first off, they were really well done. But uh, secondly, I Thank think you. they got a lot of like views and stuff, so that was that was uh, really helpful for for us. So we we appreciate that. Um, now, how long have you been doing uh, the acting and the cosplaying and all that stuff? Uh, I've been kind of doing it since uh, 2016, mm -hmm. um, my second year of high school, uh, when I was just a, a sophomore, mm -hmm. and I kind of just went to one of the Comic Cons one day, and I, I just did my own creation of Spider Pig, mm -hmm. uh, based off Simpsons at the time, because Spider-Verse wasn't really a big thing yet, Yep. Uh, and I saw a lot of people film and get involved in crazy shenanigans while at the con. I was like, hey, how do I be part of this? And I said, oh, well, get a YouTube channel, um, create content, and you'll get views. And it kind of went off from there, uh, especially because I had friends over in Vieira who had mm -hmm. a comic book shop. Um, You're talking about the Make Them Laugh uh, crew? Yeah, Make Them yep. Laugh crew. They really, um, they really helped me a lot with uh, starting off the business. Unfortunately, we don't have that much ties with them anymore. Mm -hmm. But um, but they really helped us uh kind of guide us to the right direction mm -hmm. of the films and ever since then we kind of went off with um, going to Famous Faces and Funnies 9.9 Comics and meeting pe great people like you to help support us and guide us into the right direction with giving us advice and really making us a name out there in the Bavar County area. Well you've had some videos I've seen that have, that have hit in the thousands if I'm not mistaken right? Yes including our, uh, our first uh, major Undertale video uh, it was Undertale Judgment Hall, mm -hmm. which we did at Melbourne Toy and Comic Con back in 2016. Mm -hmm. And basically what we did, we role-played um, us fighting uh, each other as the characters in the mm -hmm. game. And it was a lot of fun, and, and apparently we just got so many views from that that we started making it a small series on our YouTube. And I see Cosmic Michael right here, who was featured in that our third edition of the the Judgment Hall video series, mm -hmm. and he got featured as Gaster, if mm -hmm. I'm correct, and um, and it was thanks to him and many other cosplayers that joined us for these filming films and uh, beat ups that allowed us to really grow into the community and meet other great people mm -hmm. to um, to get into uh, up there. Okay. So now, what's the next thing on the horizon for you? Like, what, where's, what's the next goal that you want to reach in, in this, uh, in, in this uh, uh, endeavor? Well, I'm more looking forward into, um, into acting, into um, professional acting, mm -hmm. into voiceover work. Um, I actually use a website right now. Uh, I'm not sponsored, by the way, just letting you know. Yeah. It's a really good website, which I do recommend to any voice actors out there. 
It's called Casting Call Club. Yep. It's a free website. You sign up. You can literally use your phone to record yourself, and you can get involved uh, in projects that people do for indie work, cartoon work, animation, and really get your name out there um, as far as um, voice work over work. Because I know a lot of people that do voice over work, but they don't really get their name out there that much. Mm -hmm. So I know this website can be really helpful when it comes to people that have the voice talent, but they can't exactly go to a major studio in Hollywood and they can't exactly film for like a major movie production like Spider-Verse or SpongeBob yeah. like that. But it's a great way so that you could be at home, you can record yourself just using the microphone from your phone, or even if you have your own little setup, it's great. Um, and it, it's a great way to really get out there. And it's thanks to, to people from Casting Call Club and many other productions that really helped me... Uh, want to uh, pursue acting and mm -hmm. voice acting. Uh, as I mentioned, I was in Bocas yep. with Jake Estrada and so many other great folks within the Space Coast community, and that really helped me uh, get a boost out there to kind of um, endeavor uh, live acting as well as voice acting. So well, that's what I'm kind of more focused on is more professional acting in the future. Well, I cannot wait to see you know wh what you do next. I'm, I'm We've loved following your uh, your career so far. Uh, thank you very much for coming on the podcast. Um, now you mentioned, uh, I think you mentioned where we can uh, where we can find you, but why don't you go ahead and let everybody know again so, so they can follow you? Yes, if you go on Facebook.com, you'll find me at Dylan Garisco, actor, cosplayer, and voice performer. Um, doesn't have that many likes right now, so if you guys would like to. Follow me and whatnot. Uh, I'll be doing different endeavors by going to different cons in the Florida, Central Florida area and Eastern Florida area, um, as well as on Instagram. Follow me at Dylan Garisco, and uh, and on YouTube at Dylan Garisco uh, YT. And uh, you can check out all the crazy films and uh, cosplays that I've created and my future endeavors in the works. That sounds fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining us here. Uh, everybody stay tuned. we got more to come uh, from Space Coast Comic Con. Thank you very much.